in the previous class we have seen evaluating performance of model for classification for classification okay in this class uh, the part 2 that is the evaluating performance of regression and clustering okay clustering will come under unsupervised learning so those are the important lessons from second unit uh, let us see all those things one by one first let us see what is regression model okay regression model ensures the difference between the difference between predicted value and the actual value if the difference is very low then this model is called as a good model let us explain with an example that is a real estate example so we'll come to real estate example if the area increases then the value of apartment will also get increases okay area is represented in x-axis and in y-axis we are having the value of apartment okay so this is the predicted value y is the target value y is the target value okay so the target value will get changed based on the area right by using linear regression uh, the model can be represented see the circle is the predicted value because we are using linear regression linear regression model see gradually the value will get increased based on the area that is the apartment value will get increased based on the area okay but so this is the predicted value okay but when come to actual value this is slightly different from the predicted value here the x represent the actual value now the difference between the predicted value and actual value is called as error. Okay. So the error should be very low. Then only the model will be a good model. From this diagram we can understand that uh, for single x value there are two y values. Okay. This is one y value and this is another y value. Okay, the first one is called as predicted value and this is called as actual value. Okay, here the predicted value is represented as Y cap and the actual value is represented as Y, capital Y. Right, now the distance between these two Y, that is Y cap and capital Y are called as error. Are called as error, which is otherwise called as residual. Residual is the difference between the actual value and the predicted value okay here the regression model is fitted when the distance between the y cap and the capital y is very less very less okay that is the residual value is less then only the regression model will be a good model r square measure this is a very good measure which is used to evaluate the regression model okay that is uh, it is used to evaluate the model fitness and the value lies between 0 to 1 okay that is 0 percent to 100 percent otherwise right and the formula for r square is r square which is equal to sst minus sse divided by sst right sst means sum of square total and SSE means sum of squared error. Okay, sum of squared total and sum of squared error. Now, let us try to compute this SST, that is sum of squared total, which is equal to uh, the squared difference of each observation from the overall mean, from the overall mean. Okay, that is summation of i equal to 1 to n, yi minus y bar whole square y i minus y r y bar whole square here y bar is nothing but the mean that is the total mean right so this is sst and when come to sse this is sum of squared residuals residuals is nothing but errors residuals is errors okay that is the difference between the actual value and the predicted value right uh, that is summation of i equal to 1 to n yi capital yi minus y cup whole square 
right y cap is the predicted value and y i is the actual value and next let us see the evaluating performance of unsupervised learning that is clustering when come to clustering algorithm if the algorithm is successful if the cluster identifying the algorithm is achieved the right result the right result in the overall problem domain okay that is from the given data set the clustering algorithm uh, could successfully group the data item into different clusters different clusters then only it is called a successful algorithm for example the algorithm applied for identifying the customer segments for a market campaign that is a new product will be launched in the market now we need to identify our own customers right when the algorithm will be success if the marketing campaign ends with a success it is able to create a right brand recognition okay it is able to create a right brand recognition that is a steady revenue from the new product sales accordingly we need to identify our customer our customers if we identify the proper that is the actual customer for our product then our algorithm will be succeeded so that we will get more revenue from our uh, products isn't it there are two challenges in the clustering the first one is initially it is not known how many clusters can be formulated from the given data set from the given data set okay so this is the very big uh, that is very big challenge and it is completely open ended one and second one if the number of cluster is given in the beginning itself in the beginning itself then the same number of clusters can be formed with different groups of data instance this is uh, the another very big challenge right so these are uh, the important challenges of clustering for cluster quality evaluation two popular approaches are there first one is internal evaluation and second one is external evaluation let us see these things one by one the first one is internal evaluation here uh, this evaluation method measures the cluster quality it will measure the cluster quality based on homogeneity of data belongs to same cluster and heterogeneity of data belongs to different clusters okay for example this is cluster 1 the data in the cluster 1 are highly related to each other highly related to each other okay and the data from one cluster to another cluster for example one data from here and another data from here here the difference are very high difference are high okay so this is called as the homogeneity of data belongs to same cluster and the heterogeneity of data belongs to different clusters homogeneity should be high here the heterogeneity should be high and next we will see the shilot coefficient from internal evaluation this is one of the most popular method used to to uh, identify the distance between two data elements by using euclidean distance and manhattan distance okay here the shilot value lies between minus 1 to plus 1 lies between minus 1 to plus 1 that is the high value indicating high intra cluster homogeneity high intra cluster homogeneity and inter cluster heterogeneity okay homogeneity means inside the cluster the difference are very less the difference between the data items are very less and heterogeneity means between the clusters so this cluster and this cluster the difference will be very high and the formula for shilot bit is equal to b of i minus a of i divided by maximum of a of i comma b of i okay here a of i is nothing but 
the average distance between ith data instance and all other data instance in the same cluster in the same cluster for example so the star is a data item of cluster 1 and uh, a of i is the distance between all the data items in the same cluster for example this one this one this one this one okay so this is called as a of i when come to b of i the lowest average distance so this is the lowest average distance between ith data instance and the data instance of all other clusters so here this is our data item from cluster 1 here it will identify the distance between other data items also other data items also okay so this is called as b of i here the b of i value will be high when compared to a of i value a of i value because a of i the distance between the same cluster data items when come to b of i the distance between other data items that is other cluster data items also so in our example we are having four clusters cluster 1 2 3 4 so this is cluster 1 cluster 2 and this is 3 and this is 4 four clusters are we are having now we need to compute a of i a of i is nothing but the average of distance of all data items in first cluster okay for this we have to randomly select a arbitrary data arbitrary data okay this is represented by asterisk okay by using this arbitrary data we need to compute the average distance of all data items from the cluster 1 okay that is a of i which is equal to a of i1 i2 i3 etc in divided by n1 n1 is total number of items in the cluster 1 and now let us try to find out the b of i value b of i value so to compute b of i value we have to take an arbitrary value from cluster 1 and we need to find the distance between the data item that is arbitrary value and the other data items of the another cluster for example cluster 4 values okay cluster 4 values we can take all the data items from cluster 4 and find the difference between uh, the arbitrary value and cluster 4 data items so b14 b14 means 1 is here cluster 1 and 4 is all the data items in cluster 4 okay which is equal to b14 of 1 plus b14 of 2 etc up to b14 of n4 n4 is total number of items in cluster 4 total number of items in cluster 4 divided by n4 okay so n is total number of elements in cluster 4 so in the same way we have to find the average of Uh, b12 b13 also for this cluster and this cluster also and finally we have to take the minimum value of all those values which one is minimum okay so hence b of i equal to minimum of b of 12 average comma b of 13 average comma b of 14 average so which distance is very minimum we have to take and that is for that is b of i the another one is sectional evaluation this is another popular evaluation in the clustering methodology here the class label is known uh, that is before itself we know the class labels okay which is subject to clustering that is by using the class labels we need to group the data items group the data items right the known class labels are not part of data used in the clustering this is important here this is what our very big headache and the cluster algorithm is assessed based on how close the results are compared to those known class labels those known class labels so this is for this we can use the external evaluation for example the purity of Uh, one most popular measure of cluster algorithm okay we need to compute the purity of particular group okay which evaluate 
extent to which cluster contains a single classes for example uh, we are having the fruits data data set the data set contains all fruits for example all fruits now we need to group the fruits okay the given data labels are apple uh, orange banana orange apple and banana now with respect to the attribute we group the apples into one group orange into one group and banana into another group now the purity check is most important here for example this is orange whether the group contains only orange fruits or mosambi or uh, lemon are also included in this orange because the attributes are almost similar isn't it so we need to check whether the orange group contains only oranges or some other fruits also included here so this is called as purity for evaluating the purity of a cluster here the data set having n data instances okay the total number of records in the data set are n and the classes given classes are c the c number of classes are given and we need to generate k number of clusters k number of clusters okay then the purity is measured that is 1 by n summation of k max of k and c okay k and c now the k value and c value should be less okay the difference between k and c should be very less then only uh, we can accept this particular clustering algorithm that is the clustering algorithm performs well otherwise the performance will be very poor so far we have seen the part 2 of evaluating performance of model here we have seen the regression and the r squared measure is used to, to analyze the performance of regression after that uh, we have seen the clustering method to evaluate the performance of clustering we can use two methods first one is internal evaluation for that we used the shill vote and external evaluation for that we used purity purity method okay in the next class we will see another important topic from second unit thank you